back to today's video. Um, today's video is going to be an everyday, dark skin girl friendly makeup tutorial. This is kind of what I do on a day to day basis. So if you want to see my everyday makeup tutorial, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is use this little Morphe brow setting gel. Love this. I just recently got this. So I use this just to flick my eyebrows up a little bit. Set them into plates. And this has to dry also. Or else the whole thing does not work. dry for a few minutes and I'm going to go in with my primer in the meantime I like to use the milk hydro grip primer um, recently I've been using a lot of acne um, medication and cream so my skin has been very dry and peeling so this will help I also did moisturize my face with uh, serum, so that's also going to help lock in all of this, very hydrating. So while my eyebrows are almost dry, I'm going to use the Benefit Brow Pomade in number 5. And the Benefit number 5 Brow Pomade. This is kind of dark for me, but I kind of like how it looks in the end, and I'm going to be using this brush. I'll probably fast forward through this part because we all know how to do our brows. Okay, so my brows are done, and for the, um, my brows are done, so for the concealer underneath, I like to use um, Born This Way in Chestnut. I like to take this flat brush and just kind of conceal underneath. Sisters, not twins. And for the top, I like to mix it with a darker concealer that kind of matches my skin tone. And this one is um, pretty vulgar. I got this in a... I think I got this in a BoxyCharm one time. But this matches my skin really well. So I mix it with the Too Faced one. Conceal the top so it matches my skin a little bit more. I love to blend in my eyebrows with this Real Techniques brush. And it's very dense, so I usually blend down. I'm sure what that's 
So I like to take the excess and just blend it on like some of my darker acne marks just so like when I put my foundation on it won't be that hard to blend it all out. Some of them are really dark and annoying so I just like to cover them. And around my nose just so I don't have to do much work later blending out. So that's done and the foundation I like to use is the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating. Like I said, I've had really dry skin lately because I'm using a lot of acne creams to dry out my acne so this will definitely help. This is the hydrating one. I'm going to use this really tiny brush. I believe this is from Sephora Collection from years ago. It just helps me get into places that I need to get into. Yeah, like this line right here, it's covered now. We can still kind of see it a little bit. I might go in with a second layer to cover up that big scar. If you know, you know. Who told me to be a tomboy as a kid? And ruin my face, my body, scars for days. Like I have this line here, fun fact, I walked into a tree. This looks really red right now, but once I'm done, everything will come together. Sorry, I'm looking down. I have my light right here. So that is my foundation base. This is Fenty 450. So next I'm going to go in with the same Born This Way Concealer. I'm going to go in my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and Chestnut. You know the drill. I like to take a little bit down my nose because this girl needs to get snatched. Fun fact, my nose is not straight. So I let this dry for a little bit and then I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush um, and blend out my concealer. So 
So I kind of like to leave the under eye alone just so it can set and be the most concentrated under here. Just a little on too. I'd like to take it out towards my hairline because later it will kind of disappear. And I'll leave the excess over my mouth. I got a five head, so I kind of need to like keep it cute. Next, I am going to be snatching my face, and I use I use the I'm gonna be snatching my face with the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Toffee Tees number seven. So it looks pretty good so far. Um, so first, we gotta get rid of this five head. Get you together, girl. I like to take my contour really high to just snatch my face. My concealer is getting a little lost under my eyes, so I might go back into the second layer. And then the most important part, snatching my nose. This is the main goal. I kind of like to get underneath and like snatch that. And then right across the bridge. I'm outside in it. It will come together in the end. So I look a little crazy. Okay. Now we're going to blend this out. I like to use a foundation brush I used and push everything up. So I'm going to start up here. So you can kind of see it's coming together. For my nose, I like to use a different brush just to snatch me in, if I can find it. I'm using this Morphe E64 brush. It's like a slanted, dense brush. So this kind of helps me blend in my nose contour. Make sure everything is snatched. Blend that in. She's straight. I'm just gonna kind of clean up the concealer because like a little bit up here is looking crazy. And like carve out my nose more. So it's more to find. I'm gonna put some concealer on the top of my eyes just because I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow, nothing crazy. I'm not an eyeshadow girl, I'm sorry in advance. Don't know how to do it, I'm not good at it. You just do the basics. 
but I'm just gonna blend out my eyelid a little bit so it has some base. And on top of this, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Anastasia concealer just to brighten up right here a little bit. This is the new Magic Touch concealer and this is in shade 17. I was trying to get a exact match for the Too Faced concealer, but this is as close as it got. Cause you know, you can't try this stuff in Sephora anymore. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. I'm not going to let it dry a little bit, I lied. I want to snatch my nose a little bit more. Like you see this side, I just want to like bring that out. Snatch that. I'm really going really light handed. Just to snatch my nose. And then the same on the other side. I want it really like concentrated under my eye. Use excess for my eyelid. This is just how I do it. Do it however you want. There's no rules. This is just how I like to do it. Gets me the look that I love. There we go. There is my nose snatched. Bring it down a little bit more just to get the bottom here. There we go. So that's everything kind of like blended and melted together. Next we're going to go in and set. Just one more time to make sure everything's good. Pop right needs to pop. Make sure there's no harsh lines. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in the Laura Mercier Old Faithful Translucent Powder. I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush to get under my eyes. It's the setting brush. So I like to go lightly underneath my jaw, just to like also sharpen my contour and like lift my mouth. Just gotta be careful, this does have a little crazy. Set my jaw. And then under my eye. <laughs> She brought a buddy in, what you studying? Education, that's where the money is. You think you're funny, huh? Yeah, I'm funny. 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 Snatched. Crazy now, but there we go. Next, I'm going to go in with my new Morphe bronzer. This is in Prodigy. I just got this, and I've been loving how it looks. I'm going to go in with. This brush from my homegirl, love this for contour by Sammy Beauty. I'll put her link down below. So I like to start up here and just like bring it down. Do everywhere that I contour. Like I said, I don't love my five head. This is more red than I usually go, but I still love this. It brings everything to Gilbo. Do my chin. Snatch, 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 snatch. That's always the goal. Then 
then I'm going to take just a little bit and go down the bridge of my nose. Just to snatch her back, bring her back. This is also a real techniques brush. I'm just looking in the mirror, sorry. Blend her into the brows so she doesn't look crazy. There she is. The little button nose with the vibes. <clears throat> I'm also going to take a little bit of this Revolution Glow Bronzer in Deep. It's a matte bronzer. Just to darken up my contour a little bit. It's a little bit darker than the uh, Morphe one. So it's just to darken you up a little bit. Because this one was really red. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with some blush. I'm going to use the Old Faithful. I'm pulling out Max Peaches. I want like a pretty glowy look. I'm going to use this uh, Real Techniques blush brush. It's really cool. You can change the settings. I'm just going to tap that there just to bring the concealer and the contour together. Oh wow, it's so pretty. I remember why I used to love this. Just so I don't look crazy. Bring it together. A little crazy. I don't know about blush under the eyes like the girls been doing on TikTok, but I like this. I think that's as far as I go. Everything's coming together. So I'm gonna put a little something something on my eyelids just because I'm gonna be using my homegirls palette again. It is a soft touch palette by Sunny Beauty, a lot of cute neutrals. So I'm going to take mocha, you know, mocha shoddy, mocha. And I'm just gonna, just gonna like a neutral lid, nothing crazy. I could have also used the bronzer I had on earlier, but um, this is good enough. Nothing crazy. Like I said, I'm not an eyeshadow girl. Just to bring it together. So that's my little eye look. Nothing crazy. So my nose still looks a little too much, so we're gonna go back. I'm gonna get some Tuda Beauty setting powder in the shade Blondie. Just to emphasize a little bit of underneath my eyes a little bit more. Together, just so the blush didn't like wash me out. Snatch the nose again. Now I'm gonna take this big flush B brush and go in with my Fenty Beauty foundation powder in 450. I'm just gonna blend out all those harsh lines. Just 
so that my forehead doesn't look as crazy. There she is, she's coming together. Just a black every time. I like to clean up my nose a little bit with this, just so that it's not too many harsh lines. Next, I'm gonna go in with any old eyeliner. I put on some of my fake moles. I'm gonna dust away that under eye Huda Beauty. I'm getting a little cakey under my eye, so I'm gonna do this fast. I like to put beauty marks where my acne's been. So I have like one here on my cheek. I had a bump here on my eyebrow. And then the rest, I just do what I do. I don't know, I like putting one here under my mouth. Nothing crazy. That's it. I'm gonna take the Artist Couture Highlighter in Conceited. And I like to do just my nose. Just my nose. So like fit it in right where I made that little outline. So give me the button nose. And then just right her. Just um, the bridge. There she is. Maybe a little bit more. There she is. So first I'm gonna spray with the Morphe setting spray, just to lock everything in. In the meantime, I'm gonna put some glue on my lashes and I'll be back with my lashes on. So I'm back, this is a look with the lashes on. The next thing I'm going to do is my favorite part, which is the lips. Morphe's Lip Liner in Bar. It's like a nice chocolate brown. Align my lips. My favorite part. I love a good nude lip. And then for my lips, I'm going to be using a little bit of a combo. I'm going to be using, using NYX Soft Matte in London. Just to give me a nice subtle, that was a little bit messy, but. This is Soft Matte in London, but I'm running out, so I'm going to top it with Athens. Honestly, I like making a huge combo with these NYX um, lipsticks. Athens is more pink. And then I go back in with the lip liner just to clean it up a little bit. As you can see, it's kind of sheer, so I like to make a couple layers. Go back in with Athens. These are gold, so you just need a lot of layers. 
So while my lips are drying, I'm going to go in on my bottom lash line with this mascara, Fat Cow Bang. Darken up my line a little bit with Richie from Morphe. This is like really, really, really dark. I love it. And then the last step, I'm going to set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. This is the final look. Um, if you like this look, please leave me a thumbs up, a comment, anything. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you stayed to the end. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you for watching.